Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through decision tree learning guys. So this is one of the most important concept that you should learn guys because we can have a high chance of getting a problem on this topic. So that is the reason why please listen the class carefully so that you'll be having a clear idea and in the next lecture we'll be going through a problem so that you'll be having a 100% clear idea guys. Okay. Okay. So first let us go through the theory. Why we need this decision tree algorithm guys or learning. So basically there will be some situations, right? So in which you need to take some decision. So we can take the decision like yes or no with some kind of variations, but how can a system or a robot can take a decision? So that will be an issue, right? So it will be taking the decision by having some inputs and outputs, right? So that is the reason why this decision algorithm is categorized under supervised learning. Please remember that guys. Okay. So, and on basis of some inputs and outputs, it is going to take the decision that whether it should go or it should not go in that way. Okay, fine. So let us go through the theory. After that, in the next lecture, we'll be going through a problem guys. Don't worry. Okay. So decision tree learning ID three. So it represents a function that takes inputs, a vector of attribute values and returns a decision, a single output value. So it takes many inputs guys and it gives only one output whether to go or not simple. So that is nothing but your decision tree algorithm. So decision tree algorithm falls under the category of supervised learning. Okay. So it reaches a decision from step by step. So let us assume you need to go to outing. So if it is sunny, you are not interested. If it is rainy, also you are not interested. If the temperature is moderate, like not so cool or not so hot. If it is moderate, like normal day temperature. So then you are interested in going out. So these kind of things will be taking as decision trees guys. So the most popular algorithm for this decision tree is nothing but D3, ID3 algorithm that is nothing but iterative decolonizer 3 algorithm. So basically ID3 is one of the most commonly used decision tree algorithm. Decolonizer means nothing but it is dividing it into two options guys. Okay. So two options here we are dividing into three options, right? So basically in decolonizer you'll be dividing it only into two options, fine? Like yes or no in that way. Okay. So the algorithm basically this is the main concept guys. So even if you are not so good at the concept, you can do the problem guys. So if you are a problematic guy, like if you want to learn problems, it's hundred percent clear that you just listen to the lecture after that we'll be going through the problem so that you'll be having a clear idea. Okay. So algorithm divides into two groups, which are the most dominating attribute or domain attribute and other with the normal constraint trees. Okay. So we'll be doing two things guys. We are having two different formulas. Those are nothing but entropy and gain. So you'll be calculating these both to each and every attribute guys. So here the game starts. We need to calculate it for each and every attribute. Using this, we get the most dominating attribute. So that dominating attribute will be your king or the node, the main root node for your tree, decision tree. Okay, so the entropy and information is again calculated for each and every node and in that way you'll be arranging it guys. So we are having a two main formulas. Those are nothing but for entropy and gain. So I didn't write anything here guys because once we are going through the problem only we'll be discussing about the formula so that will be clear for you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. So in the next lecture we'll be going through a problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching.